Hello guys, welcome to the first video on HTML tutorial for beginners using HTML5. Now the first question you may ask yourself is what is HTML? Now HTML which stands for hypertext markup language is the language for specifying the static content of web pages. Now what does this mean? For example, whenever you open any website, for example, I'm using Firefox browser and this is the default page and uh, any uh, web page which you see on web browser has a code behind it and it's written in HTML along with some other languages like JavaScript, PHP or uh, some styling sheets like CSS and other stuff. But the static content which you see, for example, some paragraph or some uh, heading or some uh, other stuff like tables and links, it's all HTML. Now, whenever you open your web page, any web page, you just right click on it and just click on view page source. It's available on any other browser like Chrome or Safari. You just right click and just click on view on source and here you will see all the HTML code which is responsible for this page, right? So this is all written in HTML. Now what is the meaning of static? There are two kind of web pages. One is dynamic web page and other is static web page. So static web page is a page in which you can uh, only see uh, the content. For example, you can see tables, paragraphs or some article headings and other stuff. And a dynamic page is a page in which you can interact with the web page. For example, you can submit your uh, username and password to your Gmail account or Facebook account and then it authenticates this username and password with the server site scripting and then you get your uh, login as access right so this kind of pages are called dynamic pages okay but all the you know web pages which you see on your browser have this kind of code and the static content of all the pages are due to this HTML. Now, what is the history of this HTML language, right? So in the year 1991, the first version of HTML came, which was really basic and it doesn't include any multimedia like video or audio or any other content. And then it was, uh, you know, in 1995, the second version of HTML came, which was HTML2. In 1997, the third version, which was HTML3.2 came. And in 1999, the fourth version came, which was 4.0.1. And in the year 2000 came the version called XHTML. And recently in the year 2014 came the newest version of HTML, which was HTML5. Now, what are the new features in HTML5? So in HTML5, it came with new tags, features and APIs. Now, this is the list, which is non-exhaustive list of features that tend to be labeled as HTML. For example, new structural elements like header, footer, nav, which stand for navigation bars and other uh, tags are uh, introduced in this uh, version. Then the new uh, form came, which uh, was called forms 2.0 and the client side validation came in HTML5. Then native browser support for audio and video also uh, was introduced in HTML5 using this tag called video and audio. And then uh, one more thing which was introduced is Canvas API and SVG. 
the other thing is uh, web storage offline applications geo location drag and drop and web workers are also introduced in the new version and the last but not the least is the new communication api which was uh, servers and events and web sockets are also introduced in html5 right so html5 came with these new features but these are not only feature which came these there are a huge list of uh, new feature which came with html5 and that we are going to learn but in this video series we are also going to learn all the basic uh, concepts in html itself like how we can create our first web page and how to you know start from the beginning by, by creating your web page to creating a full fledged uh, web page with uh, interactive things right now to get started with html what do we need we don't need much we didn't just need a text editor which can be any editor for example notepad plus plus edit plus dreamweaver textmate and there are some advanced ides for developing your website using html which can be eclipse NetBeans, Visual Studio also supports HTML and other advanced uh, IDEs. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, which can uh, which you can use to develop HTML pages. Now, second thing you need to test your uh, web pages is the web browser. It can be any web browser, for example, Firefox, Internet Explorer, chrome or safari okay so we can test on any web browser right now let's see how we can create a simple html web page okay so i'm not going to explain the content which i'm going to use inside the html page but we are going to create how we can create a html page so just go to your any folder in which you want to create this file right click on it and then new and click text file and in here delete everything and just write the name of your html page for example index.html and then just click yes and it's going to become a html page now you can open this HTML by varieties of ed editors, for example, Notepad++ as I said, or native Notepad, uh, which was available in Windows. So you can just right click, open with, and you can just choose for uh, WordPad or Notepad from here, okay? So just open it in WordPad, for example. And in here, you just write your code for html right now the basic uh, code in html looks like this and this i'm going to explain you everything each and everything what this is and what this head is and what the, the body is everything i'm going to explain in the later videos but this is uh, what you can say a basic html page now you can save this by clicking save button and it will be saved and once uh, your document is saved what you can do is go to your html uh, file and right click on it and then you can open with any browser here so i am going to open it with firefox and it's going to look like this so we have the heading and the paragraph and here it's called the page title these are the things I'm going to explain you in details in the later videos, but the basic web page will look like this on your browser, right? So just uh, be ready to uh, develop our own HTML web pages. I will see you in the next video. So stay tuned and please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.